Hey guys, how's everyone doing? This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and welcome back to Batman Be Vlogged, the weekly vlog series where I talk about an episode of Batman Beyond after watching it for the very first time. Today, we are looking at episode 26, Terry's Friend Dates a Robot, from a story by Paul Dini, written by John P. McCann, and directed by Dan Reba. As always, because I do these unscripted, I put a blanket spoiler warning in place just in case I do decide to talk about spoilers. So if you would not like to be spoiled, this is your one chance to jump ship. And before I get into the episode itself, this episode is actually kind of a milestone for several reasons. So, first of all, in terms of the Blu-ray, in terms of keeping track, this is the final episode of Disc 2. This is the 13th episode of Season 2. Season 2 consists of 26 episodes, so this is halfway through Season 2. And furthermore, to do some math for you, Season 1 was 13 seasons. Season 3 is 13 seasons. Season 2 is 26 seasons. It's the longest season of the show. And also, 26 is 13 doubled. So 26 plus 13 plus 13 is 52. Um, and, you know, obviously, so this being episode 26 out of 52, this is the halfway point of the series. Sorry, I kind of stammered over my math there. Furthermore, too, that means, while not exactly perfect, because there are three two-parters I'm going to do as one video, Rebirth was one, there's two more we're going to do in season three, and there's a movie. This is also... Actually, I think passing the halfway point of Batman Be Vlogged, we are halfway done. And furthermore, one more aspect in which this episode is kind of a milestone. This was the final episode to be made using traditional cel-shaded animation. After this, all episodes going forward would be done digitally. So... I think I, hopefully I'll have more to say when next week with next episode, but right off the bat, um, I just want to say the animation is still really good. Nothing really stands out good or bad. I think the animators are kind of in a groove, but it is pretty stellar, especially the climactic fight scene. Now, all that said, what is this episode about? Well, the focus of this episode is Terry's titular friend, a young man named Howard Groot. And he's, he's trying to, you know, he's kind of trying to be popular and get in with the in crowd, even though he keeps being rejected. So he's trying to throw this big party. While hanging out with Terry, Terry goes to pick up an order for Bruce Wayne. And while he goes off to do this, Howard finds that Howard finds someone building androids and selling them illegally. So he decides to build himself a girlfriend. And this is kind of a very another very popular trope done in sci-fi stories. I, I don't know if there's actually a name for it, but I call it Sci-Fi, Pygmalion, and Galatea. If you're familiar with the myth, you'll know why. Um, you know, basically Howard builds himself a, or it, 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 in this context of this episode, Howard commissions a robot girlfriend to be obsessed with him. And it turns out to be obsessed with him. You know, when Nelson makes verbal jabs at him, she tries to kill him. When he flirts with another girl, he tries, that robot tries to kill her. This is a very typical story, again, we see in sci-fi. And I, I think sci-fi Pygmalion and Galatea kind of sums it up best. Um, that being said, too, obviously, this is another episode that focuses on Terry's school life. And... I'm not going to go on this too hard, as I have in the past. You know, I keep saying, episodes that focus around Terry's classmates and his school life, I'm not the biggest fan of. I think I finally, I think I finally figured out why. With the exception of Terry, Dana, and Max. I, and I'm going to be a little crass here. Everyone is an asshole. Like, they, everyone is so, in this school, is so unlikable. It's just kind of painful to watch. Nelson is awful. Chelsea is awful. Blade is awful. Even going back to Golem, Willie is awful. I think I said this in my review of Golem. Just the fact that everyone except Terry was so unlikable kind of is one of the many reasons why that, to me, still is my least favorite episodes of the show. And just everyone is in asshole narratives 
it's something I'm just generally not a fan of. It's so unpleasant to watch. You know, just some other examples. Um, after season three, the whole everyone is an asshole thing is kind of why I jumped ship with Rick and Morty, among many, many other reasons. It's why I think the Hulu series Crossing Swords is one of the worst shows I've ever seen, also among many other reasons. And when I was getting into British British sitcoms, it's why I couldn't get into Absolutely Fabulous. It's just, this is a narrative I really don't like. And again, too, here, it's just Howard being rejected by everyone, so kind of going the shallow route and getting a robot girlfriend to be obsessed with him. He's also not entirely likable and the episode tries to frame him as a goofball also slightly disappointed you know with an episode called terry's friend dates a robot i was honestly expecting something a little more comedic you know kind of like the batman the animated series episode i've got batman in my basement from the title you know what you're gonna get tonally this episode does have some funny moments but Overall, it still stays in that more serious tone that Batman Beyond has mostly been. I would have liked something more lighthearted, but I'm not going to say oh, this episode is bad because it didn't meet my expectations. That's fan entitlement, and that's a bad thing. Sequel trilogy! Oh, sorry, excuse me. Um, but, yeah. Although, that being said, this episode did try to be funny, and instead of the jokes kind of landing it just created a lot of tonal whiplash you know like just going from funny one moment to super serious and kind of dark the next dark may not be the right word but yeah no there was just a lot of tonal whiplash where the mixing of serious and funny didn't really land um max got a lot to do i think max might be my favorite character in the series i don't know the only one we really kind of got to focus on consistently i should say is terry and bruce so uh, you know we're while we get some side characters here and there like mary and matt mcginnis or max or dana um they haven't really gotten too i think that's kind of why i like max because out of the side characters not talking about the leads at the moment she is the one that's gotten the most focus and just chris summer is a phenomenal voice actress overall the performances speaking of are okay I just really liked Max in this episode because she got some really nice quips and one-liners, especially when she tried to fight the titular robot named Cynthia after, um, oh god, what did they call the androids in this episode? It was like Synthoid or something. Um, but yeah, and again, the titu the animation in the climactic fight scene between Terry and Cynthia was really good, and, and it was a fight in someone's house, so... The environment was utilized really well, like the kitchen or the living room. That was all well handled. But Terry's friend dates a robot is nothing special. It's more memorable for all the milestones it sets, being the halfway point of the series and the final cell shaded episode. It's not one of the worst episodes to focus on Terry's school life. It is one of the better ones, but there's nothing really stand out about it. But that's pretty much all I have to say. Those are my thoughts on Terry's Friend Dates a Robot. Have you seen it? What are yours? Please start a conversation in the comments below. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Click the bell next to subscribe to get notifications when I upload. And in the description box below, you'll find the link to my Twitter, where you can follow me and get updates on the channel. This is Sir Jedi Sentinel, and I'll see you guys next week.